टेक आउट आवर सेल्स फ्रॉम दी बॉडी वी सेपरेट आवर सेल्स फ्रॉम दी बॉडी वी जस्ट सेग्रीगेट वी कम आउट ऑफ द बॉडी एंड मूव अबाउट एवरी फायर इन ड्रीम creating a world in mind itself enjoying it suffering it you all know that and perchance some of us the fortunate most fortunate we can even see in dream our own bodies lying on the bed still eyes closed completely maybe dead yes when mind goes out of the body body is dead body is dead when we re enter when we enter again <coughs> body becomes alive that is the rebirth so what is the function of mind we are not conscious of our mind most of us but know it for certain that mind can be separated from body completely we live in mind only dream state but that apart when we go further and we are lost in sleep our individual entities as body and mind these entities they are absent completely absent in dream in, in deep sleep in deep sleep there is no feeling mind is not there that's why feeling is absent mind is absent body consciousness gone that's our real nature all of us are one with our real nature for four to five hours a day and still we repudiate still we do not admit that we are really atman consciousness to know that we are consciousness you have to first make your mind subtle subtle very subtle very fine super fine sukshmaya sukshma dorshivi drishyate it can be seen that atman can be seen can be realized only by the seeker of this subtlest with the help of the subtle mind very fine mind so when you appreciate music and can differentiate among the different ragos the talos this and lo, this and that you need to have a very subtle mind the ordinary person crude persons they cannot appreciate the differences of this sounds that's why swami ji says that music is the greatest help to the seeker of truth ultimate truth it is a great art for the sadhakas it is a great sadhana it is it is in a sense a way spiritual practice it is a way sadhana it could be construed as a sadhana itself so when you are in the process of in the midst of music i really understand it then we have reasons to believe that feel that you are not an ordinary person that's why this musical festi- music festival we or organize and samiji created a star in the world by presenting himself at the world's so stage in chicago you all know that is the singularly important event in samiji's life then sri aurobindo sri aurobindo the rishi as we call him he gives us 
a moving, moving account of the impact of Swamiji only in a single sentence. I'm going to read it out. There's so many ideas are juxtaposed in this single sentence. And this sentence is not too long even. Just see the masterpiece of his writing. See your window. On Swami Vivekananda, just one sentence. The going forth of Vivekananda, marked out by the master as the heroic soul destined to take the world between his two hands. So just, you see, you can imagine the picture. Swami is moving out. And Sri Ramakrishna was showing the path. You come, you come along. This, this is ocean. You, the heroic soul. And you have been chosen by me to take between your two hands the entire world. To take the world between his two hands and change it. And that was the first sign to the world that India was awake, not only to survive, but also to conquer. Just see, Vivekananda is Bohir Gaman, তার প্রভু শ্রী রামকৃষ্ণের নির্দেশে এবং তাকে যে বললে বলতেন যে তুই বীর রে তুই যে বীর এবং তিনি পৃথিবীর পৃথিবীর পৃথিবীটাকে তার শক্ত দুহাতে ধরে বদলে দিলেন বদলে দিলেন এই ঘটনাটাই is the first sign to the world. Age. Age. Janam diye dilo. Pithvi ki. Pithvi ki. The India wa jave ek bhat bort se jege che. Not only to survive. Se bachat jannu hi jege che ta na hai. Se joy kor bhat jannu jege che. Aaj ke dekun. Pithvi ki. What did he preach to the world which was unknown to all of them, all of us, to create a Vedantic society everywhere, society of freedom, equity, and sacredness of human personality. These three things. We had the experience of Renesha, expressed in terms of freedom, equity, and fraternity. Swamiji also picked up those ideas only. But this is Vedantic concept of freedom. It is not the freedom of the senses. It is a freedom from the senses. You have to attune your bhogo jivan, life of enjoyment, towards tayago jivan, Renunciation, renunciation, renunciation. You are not buffeted by the desires. You have, you are, we need freedom from our sense appetites. We are enjoying everything through our five sense organs. We have to have perfect control over them. That is the first concept. And it is quite different from those that the protagonists of Renaissance took up. They used to feel that freedom, freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of speech, that's all. And equity, sammo, their concept was dhano sammo. Equity in wealth. Some says equity in consciousness, 
Devosam, we are all divine beings, and that's why we are all equal. Because in sleep we feel that we are all divine. That's our nature, swabhav. And sacredness of human personality. We are human person, hu human persona, human persons are sacred. So it is not only we are brothers and sisters, we are all one. There is no multiplication, there is no, there is no plurality. I alone exist in all of you. So that is Swamiji's Vedanta, he preached there. And for that, the two things he introduced, this could be done through proper education and concept of religion. Education gives you perfection in an art. They are going to display the art of music, the perfection they have attained in music. Some of you are, have attained perfection. Perfection in football, perfection in literature, perfection uh, in, in, I should say, in uh, science and technology. So there are several areas where we can have perfection, culture that way, okay? But again, we have to feel that we are all pure being. We have to make ourselves pure, pure mind, pure mind. That is the task of religion, to provide this purity. And I just request you to remember that very well-known song of Tagore, Aguner Paros Muni Chomao Prani. Ejibon Punno Koro, Ejibon Punno Koro, Ejibon Punno Koro, Dahono Dani. What it is for? It is for religion. The cry is for religion. Religion makes you pure, and for that, Tapasya is necessary. But someone may also. By mistake, sing like that. Ejibon purno koro, ejibon purno koro. And they say purno koro and purno koro could be interchangeably used. I said no. Purno koro means you attain perfection in a particular art, particular faculty. Particular faculty. Perfection. Sachin Tendulkar is a good creator. He has perfected himself in that art. We say Sachin Tendulkar is a good man, but we never say he's a God man. He's not a God man. Here all the say, musicians, performers would be, say, playing their respective talents, showing their attention to us. They're all good people, but we won't say that they're divine. But divinity is necessary, purity is necessary. And for that, a separate type of, separate discipline is necessary. That is the discipline we observe in developing a religious life, spiritual life. You have to suffer a lot for that. Aguner Parasmani, Chomaoprani. Our Dehota Purve, Javan Amra Khad, Sonar Khad, Aguner Ptel Pele, Sid Suddha Kuri, said, Our Dehota Dehota Ke Puri Ye Puri, that tremendous austerity we have to observe in order to make ourselves pure. Purity, purity, purity. Sometimes we feel that if we could have become more pure, we want to be that. So we need both, purity and perfection. Purity and perfection. That, that means production efficiency and character efficiency both. So education gives us production efficiency. For that, formal education is of no value. Pele had no formal education. Sachin Tendulkar had not proceeded much towards formal education. Rabindranath Tagore also could not have prosecute further. 
Even he could not complete his school education. You know that because literature entered into his life. Similarly, if God comes to our life, like Sri Ramakrishna, you won't have any formal education. Education, education. In the broader sense, you have to take it. So this is in short Swamiji's concept. We try to remember it. And I am welcoming you all. I welcome today's <coughs> uh, say, artist, Ravindra Katoti, Rupak Bhattacharji, Pandit Sankar Rupadhyay, Pandit Anindo Chatterji, Gopal Barman, uh, Sangeet Misra, Hiranmay Mitra, some are known, very much known, and Ulhas, Pandit Ulhas Kasalkar, Suresh Talwalkar, Gaurav Chatterji, Sarath Hussain on Tabla, Harmonium, Sarangi, this and that, and dance guru, Thingba Bhaijam, Chaujit Singh and his group, then Basuri Pandit Hari Prasad, Horasiya, with Ashish Raghwani, and the last session, evening, Pandit Basant Kabra, Chasbant, Vaisna, Carnatic Violin and Santur Duet, with Mysore Manjunath and Pandit Tarun Bhattacharya, Ananto R. Krishnan, and Avijit Banerjee. Uh, first of good artists having a name all over India, they've been invited. And I am very, glad, very much glad that they have come to pay their homage to Swamiji also. Almost, 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 what should I say? No financial commitment. We cannot even pay their, say, pay their airfare, airfare also. This they love. Every year they come. They're all great artists. With politicians of 10,000 or 15,000 or 20,000 only. But it is because at least this one day, single day in a year, we call upon them to come and see what is what, what Vivekananda means. They have been earning a lot elsewhere, but here they come out of love for Vivekananda in and through the entertainment, they also become much more complete, much more complete in their outlook of life. Thank you all. Our pronouns, our gratitude to Pujaniya Maharaji for his words of blessings, for its words of enlightenment that has set the ball rolling for the 165th birth anniversary offerings of Swami Vivekananda. Ladies and gentlemen, um, the ones on stage need no introduction. As you see on the harmonium, it's a harmonium recital. Uh, see, some of the recitals that we have here, Drupa, then harmonium and others, you don't get to hear them. They don't get center stage these days. But we make it a point to begin the morning recital with things as good as prayers, the harmonium or the, uh, or the, or the Drupad music. Uh, I would request Pujaniya Maharaj ji to, uh, to greet them on our behalf. Pandit Ravindra Kututi uh, teaches uh, at Bengaluru, he was born in a family of music 
and he started learning Hindustani classical harmonium since he was as young as eight. And he has been the disciple of harmonium legend Pandit Rambhav Bijapuri. His harmonium solo is marked by presentation in Gai Kiang, along with elaborate exploration of the theme in Lucid Alap. On the tabla, we have the young Rupak Bhattacharya, a child prodigy, introduced at the age of his four to the art by his father, Sri Arun Bhattacharya. Later, he took further training in Farukabad style from Sri Minal Kanti Bukshi, but for many years, he is receiving guidance from one of the living legends of the Gharana, Pundit Anindo Chatterjee. He has re received the President's Award by standing first in the music competition of All India Radio in 2004, accompanying his father on the harmonium is young Tejas Ravindra. Tejas Ravindra uh, is the son and disciple of Pandit Ravindra Kakoti. So it's over to the artists, Pandit Ravindra Kutoti, assisted by Master Tejas Ravindra, along with Rupak Bhattacharya on the tabla. The, the artist begins his offering with Rag Natabhairav. Shri Guru Bhyonamaha, Supravhatam to all, my pranams. All of us three on the stage, we offer our humblest tribute, pranams to the Golden Trinity. We are offering our music at the lotus feet of Swamiji. We take it as a great privilege and blessing to offer our Sangeet Seva here. We'll be starting the rendition with Rag Natabhairav, set to Jhaptal, Dintal and Ada Chautal.